Hey guys, and welcome to MLB 24, the show, the Chicago White Sox franchise, episode one. Thank you, everyone who voted on that poll to see what team you guys wanted. It was neck and neck, but at around 11.55 p.m., I checked one last time to see who would be the winner, and the White Sox just barely beat out the Mariners. So, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, franchise episode. Hope you guys enjoy this series. Stay tuned because it's going to be a long one because this team is ass. Look at this roster. It is horrible. Absolutely horrible. We have Luis Robert and nobody else. Our starting pitching is consisting of Michael Kopik, uh, Jake Woodford, Mike Soroka. We got uh, Chris Flexen and um, we got a few guys here. We did trade Dylan Cease already. We updated that roster beforehand. So Drew Thorpe is on the team, Jairo Uriarte is on the team over from San Diego, and Eric Fetty is going to be our fifth starter. He's getting paid $7.5 million this year and next year for reasons unknown, but this team is absolutely horrible. Noah Schultz, another guy to keep, uh, to remember his name, he'll be up in a few years, probably not this year, but he'll be a key part of our pitching rotation. We do have some prospects in the starting rotation at least, so that looks promising. Uh, we have a couple other prospects within the organization we're obviously going to go over, uh, but it's it's rough, guys. It's really rough. This roster is horrible, so this year is probably going to be bad. Next couple years is probably going to be bad, but eventually we're going to start getting good. So uh, follow this series along, and hopefully you can be in it from the beginning to watch us build this team into something and win. Hopefully multiple World Series, but we'll see where it takes us as Catching position is, is pretty weak as well. First base, we got Andrew Vaughn, who's only 26 years old. High potential, but I don't think he'll ever reach that A potential now that he's 26. Second base is Nicky Lopez, but we'll, we also have Mike Moustakis, who can play second because he won't be playing much third. Yo Mankata could also move to second as well. So right now, you know, nothing really set in stone. Colston Montgomery is our number one prospect in the organization. 22 years old, 71 overall. We'll see him at some point. He's just going to start in AAA, hopefully build his stats up, get higher in overall, while Paul DeYoung plays every day in the major leagues, at least for now. Colston Montgomery is probably a guy you'll see this season, just kind of depending how it goes this season. If not, definitely next season. He might even start the year on the team next season, so we'll see about that. Aloy Menes is he has good stats in this game, but they did him dirty with his overall, I feel like, 72. Although he's never really healthy, so maybe that is fair. So, Eloy Menes will be our DH. Andrew Benintendi will be our leadoff guy and our left fielder. Luis Robert, obviously our best player. We've still got plenty of control with him as well. Uh, maybe we'll just trade him just at the end of his contract, because that's probably around the year we'll start competing, hopefully. So, maybe we can trade him for some younger pieces to compete even longer. But yeah, the team is not looking good. We're going to just make some changes. Uh, you, you kill, uh, Samuel Zavala, another guy, the the White Sox got in the Padres trade for Dylan C. So we just kind of have to throw him in double A. And I'm going to move someone else to triple A just to kind of balance out the uh, minor leagues real quick. But yeah, Samuel Zavala, 19 years old, 63 overall B potential. Probably won't see him for a while. And in right field, Dominic Fletcher and Gavin Sheets. They're going to kind of split time. I like Gavin Sheets. He's a tall, powerful lefty with some pop, so he's probably going to get more playing time. We'll see. Oscar Colas, the guy, obviously, who walked off the World Series against us in the Mets series to end it off. But uh, here's our lineup. Ben Tendy's going to bat first and left. Loyal bats second at DH. Luis Robert bats third and center. Andrew Vaughn will play first. He'll bat fourth. Yo Mankata batting fifth at third. Gavin Sheets will play. He'll start at least. In right field, batting sixth. Paul DeYoung will be at shortstop, batting seventh. I'm actually going to make a change here. I'm going to put Mike Moustakis batting eighth, playing second base against righties. And uh, I'm actually also going to make another change I didn't do right here, but I am going to do. Max Stassi is going to play against righties at catcher. And Martin Maldonado will play against lefties at catcher. But yeah, that's our lineup. That is our bench. Our rotation is going to be Michael Kopik going to be the opening day starter. I'm not going to call him the ace because that's not what he is. Jake Woodford, Mike Soroka, Chris Flexen, and Eric Fetty. And our bullpen consists of Tuki Toussaint, Joe Barlow, Tanner Banks, Tim Hill, Dominic Leone, Garrett Crochet, John Brebbia. And our closer this year is going to be Jesse Chavez. So it is looking rough. We are probably not going to have a good first season. 
Like I said, it's probably going to be not even a good second season. It's going to take time to build this team from the ground up. But at least we do have some prospects. We're not completely starting from zero. Hopefully we can uh, draft heavy and good in this game as the draft wasn't a prominent feature of my previous franchises because I did the Mets and the Yankees and was focused on, on winning now. But now more than ever, scouting and drafting will be a big part of this series. So I hope you guys are ready for that one as you see the projected stats there Aloy Jimenez and Luis Robert were the only ones projected to lead our team in everything and we were projected 67 wins so we'll see about that Kopich taking him out he had a 5-4-3 ERA not many times do you see a guy with a 5-4-3 ERA starting on opening day the next season but that is the state of this White Sox team it's not good as we're going against Tariq Skubal who had a very good year last uh, season so Bottom half of the first inning, we start things off with our first highlights. Aloy Jimenez getting the first hit of the season for the White Sox with a base hit up the middle. Next up, Luis Robert, and he's also going to hit one up the middle. He chops one up the middle for a base hit. So we've got a rally going in the bottom of the first, first and second with one out. Fourth hitter today, reversing a lefty, so it's a little different. It's Yon Mancada, and Mancada flies one in the left field, but this one... Is a can of corn for the left fielder. So we got first and second two out now as we we're looking for a clutch hit in this first inning to get off to an early lead. It's going to be Andrew Vaughn. 2 1 count on Vaughn. And he is going to hit one hard, but right at the shortstop who flips it over to second for the out. And that ends the first inning. No score. We'll go to the top of the second. Michael Kopik cruising along. He gets Mark Canada to ground the third as Yo Mankata throws across the diamond to get the out. So Kopich, two innings, two solid innings so far. Bottom half of the second, nobody on for Martin Maldonado, and he hits one hard into the right center field, but he's got zero speed, <laughs> literally zero speed. I'm not just saying that as an exaggeration. So he's just going to hold that first for a single. Uh, next batter is Nicky Lopez. He gets a start against the lefty today, and he's just going to ground this one to second, and that ends the second inning. Still no score, nothing doing here. Early on in this one, top half of the third, it's Andy Abanez leading off, and he's going to hit one up the middle for a base hit. So it's a leadoff single for Detroit in the top of the third as they try to get something going. And um, we're going to jump ahead to a couple batters later. Kopik's got the first out. It's a kill Badu. He strikes out swinging high changeup. Fools Badu there with a nice change of speeds. Next up, Gio Urshela. And uh, Gio Urshela is going to chop this one to second. Nobody's covering first. Nicky Lopez has to run to the bag, and he gets the out. And unassist four unassisted uh, to get the out at first base as Vaughn dove and Kopik didn't get over to first. So Nicky Lopez had to take it all the way himself from second base on that one. Uh, but uh, bottom half of the third, it goes pretty smoothly for Tariq Skubal so far. So three innings, no runs for either team as it's a pitcher's duel early on. In the fourth, it's um, Riley Green. He takes a nice change up at the bottom of the zone for a leadoff walk. Those are never good, so Kopik trying to get out of this jam already. Kerry Carpenter up next. He flies one in the right, but Gavin Sheets is right there for the first out in the fourth. Next up for Detroit is going to be Colt Keith, and he is going to pop this one in the left field. Benintendi is there for the second out. So after the leadoff walk, the next two guys fly out. And the last hope in the bottom of the fourth, in the top of the fourth inning is Spencer Torkelson. And Torkelson's just going to ground the third. Yo Mankata's going to throw the first for the out. So after a leadoff walk, Kopik settles down and gets out of, of the fourth inning. Bottom half of the fourth, it's Andrew Vaughn. He hits a base hit up the middle with one out. So we got one out and one on in the bottom of the fourth inning as Still, no runs have been scored in this one. Next up, Paul DeYoung, and he is going to hit one pretty deep in the left field, put a charge into this one, but going back to the left fielder, and with plenty of room, he puts away Paul DeYoung. So two out, one on in the bottom of the fourth. It's Gavin Sheets, 2-2 two -two count, and Gavin Sheets crushes one in the right center field, and this one is gone, no doubt about it. It's our first home run of the series. And it comes from Gavin Sheets, lefty on lefty crime, 431 feet in the right center field. And it's a two-run shot, and the White Sox have a 2-0 lead. So our first run of the series is off of Gavin Sheets' two-run homer. And we take a 2-0 lead here in the bottom of the fourth. We're going to go to the top of the fifth. Kopich still cruising along so far. He's got Jake Rogers up. 
and Jake Rogers is going to fly this one into center. So Kopich is through five shutout innings so far here on opening day. He's pitching pretty well against this Tigers team. Only two hits through five so far. Bottom half of the fifth, Aloy Jimenez already has a one hit today. He crushes this one down the line, and it stays fair. And that's a rip double for Aloy Jimenez as he's just going to get to second in time. Two out double, so we got a runner in scoring position with two outs. Our best hitter up, Luis Robert, coming to the plate. Can he come through and get us a third run of this game at least? The 1-1 count. Robert hits one hard in the left field, but right there is the left fielder to put away Luis Robert. And that's how the fifth inning ends. 2-0 White Sox, though. Going into the six, we still got Kopich on the mound. It's a kill, Badu. Third time through the order now, and that's a base hit up the middle. So a leadoff base hit for a kill, Badu, to start the sixth inning. Next up is Gio Urshela, batting second for the Tigers, and he's going to hit one in the right field. That's a base hit. So Gio takes that pitch opposite field, and just like that to start the six, it's back-to-back -back base hits, and that's it for Michael Kopich. We've seen enough. Garrett Crochet would come on from the bullpen. He's, he's a good pitcher. He just needs to stay healthy this season. We'll see what, what he can do. But three lefties coming up in a row. Should we go? So we go to Crochet out of the pen, and he gets Riley Green to line the third. That's caught on the fly, so one away. Next up, Kerry Carpenter, one-two count. He strikes out swinging on a nasty slider, as you'll see something new here in a second to MLB 24, the show. They got ump cam now for strikeouts, so that's pretty cool. I mean, it's a little feature, but it's cool. Uh, so two away for Colt Keith, and Colt Keith flies one into right center field. Hit pretty hard, but Gavin Sheets is going to run this one down to end the sixth inning. Still 2 nothing. So after two base hits, Crochet comes in and gets out of it. Bottom half of the sixth, Joe Mankata rips one down the right field line. If it's fair, it might be gone. It is off the foul pole. Home run. Yo Mankata goes deep, hits the foul pole. Solo shot to lead off the sixth inning. And it's 3 nothing White Sox here in the bottom of the sixth as two home runs give us three runs in this one. And that one, look at that one, just stayed fair. Hits the pole. Yo, Mankata with an opening day home run. As in the seventh, we're going to go to Joe Barlow. He only played in 13 games last year and wasn't great. So he's looking to have a good season this year. So he'll, he'll eat up some very important innings for us. That is for sure. One of our better relievers. In a very, very bad bullpen. He works an easy seventh inning, though. Gets a strikeout. Works a one, two, three, seventh. And he sends this one to the bottom half of the seventh, where Aloy Jimenez is up with two outs. And he's going to get his third base hit of the day. So Aloy Jimenez starting off his season strong, going three for four with uh, a double and two singles in this one. Luis Robert up next. And uh, he is just going to chop this one to short. That'll end the seventh inning. So we're going to the eighth. Up three nothing, though, as we'll go to... John Brebbia, who's probably going to be our setup guy between him and Crochet, depending on the situation, whether it's lefty or righty. They'll be our two setup guys. Uh, in the eighth, though, he gets Jake Rogers swinging to lead off the eighth inning. So Brebbia was in control in the eighth. He'd get the next guy out, and then Gio Urshela would come up next. And Gio lines this one in the right, but Gavin Sheets comes in and makes the play. So Brebbia works a one, two, three, eighth inning. And he sends this one to the ninth for our closer, Jesse Chavez. He's going to get his first chance to close things out in a White Sox uniform. As, uh, he is in to slam the door. That's what he is going to try to do here. We'll see what he can do. He's our best reliever. He actually showed up in 36 games last year to a sub-2 ERA. So we're hoping he has another solid season. And he starts off strong here. Riley Green strikes out swinging to start the ninth with two outs away. From a nice opening day victory to start the season. Kerry Carpenter up next. One two count on him. Jesse Savage's pitch is smoked in a right center field, and this one is gone. Kerry Carpenter with an absolute missile. Solo home run here in the ninth. 420 feet, 110.6 off the bat. That ball was smoked. And it's a solo shot for Detroit. They're on the board. It's three to one. It's only a two run game here in the ninth. Next up, Colts Keith. He's going to try to bloop one in the left field, but Paul DeYoung runs this one down. And we're one out away from an opening day victory here in the ninth inning. It's Spencer, Spencer Torkelson, last hope for Detroit. He's going to hit one hard in the right field. This one's going over Gavin Sheets' head. It's going to one-hop the wall, and it's a, it's a two-out double for Detroit. Detroit now has a tying run at the plate in the form of Mark Kana. 
1-1 count, and he is going to hit one in the hole to short. The Young from the outfield grass. The throw to first is offline and not in time. They're actually going to rule that an error from Paul DeYoung. It was a tough play, tough error, but it is an error nonetheless. Abania is up next. He hits one hard, but right at Nicky Lopez, who snags it in the air. And the White Sox pick up a win on opening day. We got a two-run shot from Gavin Sheets. Solo shot from Yo Mankata. Good pitching from Michael Kopik and our bullpen. Jesse Chavez made it a little scary, but we pick up the win. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. And you don't want to miss a minute of this rebuild. Might take a while, but it's going to be good. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.